98. Lisa, you require 9. Well, as Corinne said, it was a good start today for Lisa Ashton. It hasn't been the best of finishes. Now double four. No score. And that should be going back looking Chloe for nine. Ewan That's Ewan assuming Ewan. that Chloe O'Brien doesn't come up on the blind side. Yeah, Chloe's got a real opportunity here. She needs to... Oh, that's going to hurt. Those single numbers, they're the worst ones. Hardest ones to hit. Yeah, she'll be disappointed there because she had a real Lisa chance Ewan. for what was a, would have been an outrageous Ewan. steal, really. At least Rashton's got to go back to looking for the big number, the big one, the double four. Oh. Well, Chloe's got a real opportunity on her hands here to get an early break and get ahead. Twenty-four. I think they might have been three nervous starts there. Yeah. Eight. What was the eighth time of asking? Lisa Ashton gets the job done in leg one and takes the first ever leg played at the Winter Gardens. Doesn't like the lie of that. Tricky dart there. No score. Chloe really, really needs to be able to put this 106 six. away to at least get a, a leg on the board and feel a little bit more confident. 14 or 6, 14 for double 16 for the first three figure outshot of this tournament. 90. Well, it was a terrific effort, wasn't it? Yeah, that was uh, right on the wire there. Yeah. Double, double. <laughs> That's just showing off. <laughs> Unintentionally flashy from Lisa Ashton. Game. Oh, that was not a good shot there from Chloe. She was in a pretty reasonable position before that visit, to be fair, in this leg. But now... She's in real trouble because Ashton has suddenly started to find the big numbers oh, to some tune. And that visit there puts her two darts away from a place in the semi finals of the women's match play. 59. Lithia Aguirre, 51. Double 16 for Lisa Ashton, and with the minimum of bust, the number one seed breezes through to the semi finals of the women's match play. Lisa Ashton. Close. Ultimate Aileen. It's got the better. 56. Oh, oh, Not to it. go 18 ball oh, there. I know. Was that nerves or was it banking on Laura not getting this 70? Well, oh, yeah. I assure you, Laura will go 16 ball. She misses uh, the ball. Well, that is just nerves, isn't it? 21. So the gamble 38. pays off for oh, the graph and a chance here at double 16 for the first leg against the dart. Now up for double eight, you saw the reaction there. Break a throw. Yeah. Uh, good last start. That will plant seeds oh, about already in law return his head. Much better on the treble 20. Laura here. That's good. She needs this leg, Laura Turner. Three down. And we could be looking at another whitewash because it would be two breaks for DeGrasse. Well, don't forget in that opening Laura leg, Laura was on a, on a finish, wasn't she? And, and DeGrasse pitched it with the last dart in hand. Oh, good dart. Good dart. Well yeah, done. That make it feel a whole lot better. 73, two data. It's one of those two treble visits here, Laura. Six. Not enough, you I feel. No, she knew that as well. The reaction was there. 14 for tops for 3-1. Yeah, 
and it is. It's a really neat and tidy leg from Aileen de Graaf. 18 dart holder throw to send her one away from the semi finals. She got that break in the opening leg. She's been the better player and is, well, doing a real job here. Look at this. Oh, there's a little change of plan there. It looked like she was thinking about the yeah. 180, but she was definitely. But this will do very nicely. 82 average and for the first game the first leg in the end just proved so important didn't it double 16 and a comprehensive victory for Aileen de Graaf not really that much that Laura Turner could do about it and I know everyone's talking about Lisa Ashton and Fallon Sherrick to take up being a professional dart player and she said that might just be on the cards she has the ability and it's interesting isn't it you talk to a lot of people you know women's darts the two best players at the moment no doubt are Lisa and Fallon but you know people are talking well, hang on a second hang on a second oh. wow. it wasn't far away was she'll it she'll be disappointed with that dart yeah as I would say to her when we're practicing, is that in? <laughs> 99. I'll only require 19. Okay. Mm. She's making this difficult for herself here. Five for double four, Fallon. For the opening leg. Game yeah, she's playing that nicely, though. And a chance. Second leg, Katie the throat first. Yeah, just say the back. Herself an opportunity here. The first start's going to be the tell. Not what she was hoping for. Eighty-one. I'm hoping now that Fallon can't take out tops or double ten or double five. Thirty-five. Well, a, a real chance here for, for Katie Sheldon out of nowhere, simply because of half a dozen missed doubles from Fallon. Double seven. Oh, oh yes. yes, great finish. Fallon's going to be really disappointed that, that she gave that opportunity away. Thinking about this one. Ninety-five. I just like the way she goes about her business. No nonsense. She just gets on with it, doesn't she? And a chance here for Katie Sheldon to take the lead with a break of throw. And she puts it in. Wow. No fear. I suppose with Fallon so far this afternoon, that's the easy bit. The hard bit has been this bit coming up. She really needs to put this away. Well, well, well. One out of 11 on the doubles, Fallon Sherrick. And another opportunity for the Irish teenager, Sheldon. Chance. Oh, that was close. Right on the wire there. Wow, wow, wow. No more chances for Fallon. She needs to get this. And she does. That was some great darts by Katie there. So Fallon really needs to get in some big treble so she can leave herself a finish. One man, 34. Well, as we hope for, this is turning out to be a, a really good game. Katie's also a, a, a product of the system. Uh, we'll talk about that in just a, a moment as Fallon looking here for a, a ton plus finish to go ahead. She's left herself that double four again. That seems to be her friend. All three matches. She's, all three legs. Sorry, she's finished on double four. I'm just going to get on with it. Ninety-five. That's all right. She's left herself ninety-five for the match. She's been given a real scare here. One and it's not over yet. No, and Katie's put the pressure on by leaving herself a finish as well. So, Fallon really does need to look at putting this away. 
for the match then. 79. Well, Lisa missed 13 darts at double. Fallon's missed 11. Oh, one dart at double 12. Fallon requires 16. So Fallon Sharrock here being pushed all the way by teenager Katie Sheldon. Oh, there's some tricky darts there. But she's managed to find it. Yeah, um, experience wins the day. She's not very happy with the performance. One. Well, win Stanley first down to the finish. Three dark combination of 116 with her opponent over a couple of hundred behind. Less these. Not settling that. Good dart from Rian. Mm. If you're going to have a nervy leg like this, it's probably a good thing you're against the darts, isn't it, Rod? It's not yeah. massive damage. It is a, a short format. We, we keep harping on about it, but we get broken in the first leg. Saw that happen to Laura Turner earlier on, and she never recovered. Seventy-six. Yeah, double eight now for really confident hold of throw. A really confident finish. Impressive start from Lorraine, but a sloppy visits. Fifty rounds off the score, but would have expected to be sitting prettier than this after the opening six starts of the leg. Lorraine win Stanley. Yeah, she had, what, just two fo 240 left after she's thrown six darts. She's thrown another six nine to get down to 110, so Griffiths has been allowed to get back into the leg, and she's taken the advantage of doing that, having that opportunity. Oh, that's a great start to this checkout attempt. Top to 110. Lucky, but again, not far away. When she has been missing, which is only two darts, they're being close. It's been... Good performance from Lorraine, Lorraine Win Stanley. She's just got to finish the job here. 58. Rain require 40. And that's another good leg. finish from Lorraine Win Stanley. We only require 112. So to get a leg on the board here and keep Win Stanley occupied. Fifty-six. Well, half of the score leaves fifty-six. Wow. Again, just can't quite 56. complete the maximum. Mm. And Griffiths for the first leg of the match. Yeah, ah, really, really good hold of throw. And well, this would round off the quarterfinals with, in some style. I'm not going to, but just tee up. Well, this is going to be good enough, you would think. One, Very much so. A really good setup, and Rian Griffiths will be fearing the worst here. And the chance of 1 3 4 is gone, and such as the consistency on the outer ring from Lorraine Win Stanley of Fear, Rian Griffiths' race is run here, 24, 24 for the place in the semi-finals. To wrap it up, double 12. Well, that's her worst start of the double just when she didn't need it. And now trying to work out how to get rid of the 19 that had left. Three for double eight. They were nervy darts. The worst really darts of the match. And Rianne Griffiths to get the, the break back here. And that is two bag. from two on the doubles. Yeah, Rianne Griffiths. Griffiths has got half a dozen darts at 126. She can go to a 19 ball, but she doesn't have to. And now it's irrelevant. 86 left. Yes, yeah, so all of a sudden. Opportunity for Lorraine Win Stanley. 
just gone a little bit missing in these last couple of legs. I think the manner in which she missed those match darts, Rod, there was a, a real wobble at the double 12, and yeah, there's the frustration starting to creep in. And Rian Griffiths will have seen that. I tee this up here. Yeah. Right shot, wrong it. Tops it is. Definitely the right shot there. Particularly with Lorraine on 1-5-2 and just the way the game's gone. You can kind of read the way the game's going. There were no big out shot to win the match though for Lorraine wins Stanley. So Rian Griffiths now wants Tops. She's taken this out with a minimum of fuzz in the match so far. And no problem again, leg. yes, three out of three, or three out of four, sorry, on the double. Final leg. We had a little bit of drama in the previous match with Sherrick and Sheldon. We've got last leg drama here. Trouble 20 will leave double 16 if she can find it, and she can. 90. Ryan Griffiths. Can dictate how relaxed Lorraine will feel going for this double 16 and yeah there's no pressure and when Stanley who's had two match starts come and go there's more in coming here. Double eight. And in the end Lorraine when Stanley staggers over the finishing line against Ryan Griffiths. It was all going so easily for the number three seed early on as she won the first three legs. Well, that's unfortunate. I think it was also in eight. the treble 20 bed. It oh, was leaving the eight. 49. Yeah, those 60 points on the floor could be highly significant though, couldn't they? To 88 and 28 is a big difference at this stage of a leg. 89. Nevertheless, she will have a chance at this finish to hold her throw in the first leg of the match. Yeah, it's under pressure. Needs a ball. 46. I think you require 60. No, she can't assume she'll get many more break opportunities, so big time importance He's in that. The first leg. Oh, I need to go. McGrath. This match has started exactly as how, how she would have liked it, and Game on. every bit of it, but still, Lisa. Nice chance here to break back. 100. Riding your require 106. No finish now. So Lisa Ashton lost the first leg on her own throw as a chance to restore parity on double 10. She does that with the minimum of fuss. That was more like the Lisa Ashton we've seen over the last. 10 years or so. Well, it's simple enough when you get the first start, but when it goes there, you don't have a finish any longer. And really, it's just about setting up and pressure now, and that's a good dart. 68. The way it's the finish last leg. I have a feeling she'll get this, and she does. So Ashton now from 1 0 down to 2 1 up the combination allowing to graph back in but coming back she hopes for three at tops which she got first start last time 57 will we see a repeat scenario no this time she requires all three and can't get it in three and those weren't very convincing to say the least and the graph can maybe draw off of that she has her opponent be a little rattled here. Gonna hold throw though only, but it really yeah, creates more and more of an uncomfortable situation for at least Ashton. Mr. The eight in this one. And tops. 42. A really fine effort at that. Lisa, you require Lisa reset to 81 on that bust. No, she's capable. And this time it might only be one at bull, but that goes awry. Just cannot 40. settle. I think you require 40. 
And you would have to say this could be another leg squandered by Lisa Ashton and pinched by de Graff if she can find tops. If she can find tops. Swinton. Yeah, that second out was her best chance of the three. But Lisa has a chance she maybe didn't expect. And that's a good first start. No Frustration. Score. Yeah. Well, well, nine darts ago, she was on 81. 20. It's hard. She may have been unlucky on that visit, but it's hard to complain about your luck when you've been sloppy the previous two visits. I mean, you, you kind of get what you earn. Mm -hmm. Number five, then, for De Graff. Hey, and eventually, hey, the hey, fifth hey, leg hey, goes hey. the way of the Dutch woman. Relax. This is to go within one leg of knocking out the number one seed. Double ten the switch. Thirty. Leasley requires sixty-eight. Double four. Yeah, and Lisa Ashton checks out Lisa sixty-eight Lisa to level the match after De Graff have missed four darts at double to go four two up. To go two up with only three to play. Start one nineteen. Yeah, you end up having to get the ball usually. Eighty-seven. Lisa requires thirty-six. Number eighteen for Lisa Ashton, and she's back in front. Open look at double top with your opponent on one nine six is okay. And again, drifting in, and well, do you bust maybe? Yes. Thirty-two. I, I think that that's a, a wise maneuver. You don't want to leave five, and it's really nerve-wracking when you got to get that single one. Seventy-six. Silent. You require eight. It wasn't a bust. It was a leave of double four, but still good thought. Okay, and there it is, forcing a decider. Lisa will start it. Way back into the leg, very impressively, and now is first to a finish. 45. Well, I think you require 124. Well, what a finish this would be. I, I, well, maybe she's considering. Better part of Valor here is that. 92. Yes, yeah, so wise darts in a situation where it would be hard to think clearly. Ooh, 131. Right now, Arlene de Graff. I think you require. This is the 32. chance. This is the moment. Double sixteen, double eight, and Eileen De Graff springs a surprise. She knocks out the number one seed, averaging just shy of a ton. Yeah, all Lorraine can hope here is to hit another sixty to at least. Oh, gonna say at least put a little pressure on with that third dart. Struggled in her opening game against Katie Sheldon on the double ring yes, not the that time Ballinger. the leg is Ballinger throw first game he's under it every single dart isn't she yeah absolutely she just can't seem to to get ahead 85 Ballinger requires 70 for 3 nil. tops now Oh, was that in? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think she went for the, the treble 12 there, didn't she, to leave 16. Not great from Lorraine. If you don't take out the 136, you want to keep oh, straight and leave double 18 or top. So for 3 0. It's a perler of a marker. Yeah, and that is 3 0. I won't be talking to you anymore. 167 for Lorraine. The first start's obviously really going to count here. If she gets in that triple, she's at least got a shot. Not to be. At least she gave it a chance rather than a, a tug down. She's left 67, relying on Fallon Sherrick missing another two darts at 32. Well, there'd be more hope now. No, no. Lorraine, you require 67. 
51, double eight. Well, that was safe. Those single numbers kill you every single time. Yeah. Hardest numbers to hit on the board. It's unusual to go high on a, on a number, though, isn't it? We normally go low because we're, we're under the cosh. 4-0. <laughs> this is good from Fallon Sherrick. What I will say, I'm, I'm not nitpicking here. A doubling percentage in the event fell out the hand, but for 5-0, 54. Single 18 or treble. Double seven now. 79. What do you do, Corinne? Do you go ball or 51? Oh, I'd go ball. 81 left. 24. What a get out this would be. Slipped. Oh, 76. Slipped. Oh, Went in this small nine, I believe. It can happen. Under pressure, anything can happen. Three, Three match starts now. Right, and unfortunately, 15. Corinne, that slip has left this awkward. Yeah, absolutely. It's always tricky hitting that seven because it's right in between two numbers that are going to bust. But she's done it, so she's got those first two darts at a double and only needs one. That was good, right? There was a lot of pressure on that. When Fallon played Peter Wright in the quarterfinal of the Grand Slam, over 29 legs, Same. Fallon averaged 98. Just stunning darts from start to finish. It took a, a bob on righty to take her out that day. It was an amazing game. 83. Well, in 116. For the match. 60 36. Six. Again, you feel like this really needs to go for Lorraine. Yeah, it's not the ideal situation when you do oh, feel yeah. like that and it's such oh, big numbers, but that was a good effort. This isn't a gimme. It certainly isn't a gimme now. One dart at tops for the match. That's four darts for the match now. It was looking oh so easy for Fallon. Lorraine loves tops too. Is she going to make a liar out of me now? Yes. Yeah, she is. Is that in, Lorraine? Dark players do that. Never rely on them. <laughs> Never, ever rely on them. For the match now. Double five. That's another dark gone. That's another dark gone. And that one's in. And that one is in, Corin. And it's Fallon Sherrod. I mean the require 148. Forty-eight. To leave a level ton if she comes back as Sherrod looks at 78. And looks at 24. Double 12. 66. Ailing to require 100. Tops then. Double 10 for that stomach settling Great opening job, leg. And DeGraff leg. gets off and to the start she wanted. That was Fallon's opportunity to be able to set that up and, and come back for a finish. 78. Yeah, that was some good dart. She's, she's definitely put the pressure on DeGrasse 96 here. Well, she was looking for double-double there, double 18, double top. But Sherrod now looking at treble 18, or another single there. Well, now finds a treble for double seven. And this time she's finished that here. 122. Takes the finish out of the equation with that first errant dart. 26. Ailing the require 48. So 16 for double or eight tops here for DeGraff. It's 16 for double. 
And that is the lead for Unending in Ground for 3 2. Four, six, or nine darts, and it drops off, and then the other one gets in front, and then obviously it's about who's going to get to that double first and, and who will hit it first. 57. Eighty-five. That only require one hundred and forty-two. Double eleven. Oh, 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 wow. Wow. A couple of times in this match, and the big prize will be hers. Eileen's not going to let her have it easy, though. One, She's been straight into those 30. trebles for the first six starts. Ninety-three. The winner will pick up ten thousand pounds, which coincidentally was the prize that Larry Butler trousered in the first match play in '94. One. Round. And Sherrick is getting closer to it. Yeah, that's a great one forty to leave herself sixty-six. So she knows she's going to have at least three darts. Forty-three. She's going to have six darts Alan now after 66. that forty-three from Eileen. Double eighteen. And that, two, though. and that is a 14 dart leg also. Yeah, nice easy ton from Fallon there, which is going to see her coming back for the 130 to take out the match. Well, this would be a spectacular win and a spectacular, spectacular way to win. Treble 20. No, she won't be winning with the 130. 45. Eileen require 120. But can de Graff fire a 120 okay. prolong the match? No. So Fallon's going to be back for that 85. 82. Fallon you require 85. 85. That leaves double five. And there the Queen of the Palace is the maestro at the match play. She makes more darting history by winning in Blackpool. We crown her the Betfred Women's World Match Play Champion, the Queen of the Palace, Fallon!